the state constitution. We believe that despite the fact that Detroit has some very serious financial issues that it is grappling with, that trampling on the constitution is not the way to solve those issues. We have retirees that are looking at $18,000 a year or less. They're sitting at their kitchen tables. They're deciding if they can take their medicine today or if they have to cut the pill in half or wait until tomorrow. They're trying to figure out if they should be feeding their kids or feeding themselves or paying their rent. And these are tough issues. But right now, you can't solve those tough issues in violation of the Constitution or on trampling pension. I think it's rotten what they're doing trying to take our pensions because we earned it. We're not asking them to give us anything. Just give us what we earn. I love America. I think the most beautiful words is in the first three words of our Constitution. It says, we the people, not we the bankers, not we the Wall Street barons, not the governor, or not nothing. We the people. We work for this. Then we got these politicians that are destroying the American dream. Personally, uh, as an occupier, I see it's the banks. The banks got bailed out, we got sold out. Folks uh, around America got sold out, just like Detroit. So it's Detroit all over this country, in which uh, uh, being forced to go into bankruptcy, and uh, the banks need to pay. Well, I, I believe today we have a culmination of energy that's been moving in Michigan and the city of Detroit. You got labor unions, you have activists, you have citizens. People just concerned about what bankruptcy might mean for the city. I know those who have pensions are worried about losing their pensions. We've seen the emergency manager cut health care benefits. We've seen the city of Detroit lose assets like Bell Isle and potentially the water department and a number of city agencies like transportation. And so folks are really, really concerned about losing democracy, losing pensions, and what that means for the long-term sustainability of the city of Detroit. And so it's good to see the people come out and be engaged, but I think this is really just the beginning of what's going to be a long-term fight for the city of Detroit and the nation. What happens when cities don't have money and don't have a tax base? You can't cut your way to recovery, so what do you do?